Thank you for coming. I'm Jim Korolski, Community Services Director. And this dedication of the Florida Waterbirds collection start, started as a part of the city's centennial celebration. And it also is remembered, I think you all remember this, remember the lost summer when we had our water issues? So these birds mean an awful lot to us, both in our centennial year and also recognizing that it's our wildlife that we're protecting based on the lost summer. In 1764, the great German philosopher of aesthetics, Immanuel Kant, wrote a book called Observations on the Feelings of the Beautiful and the Sublime. Born out of inspiration from our natural beauty, from a community that is connected with nature, the Florida waterbirds stand as a visual representation of the essence of Kant's ideas of aesthetics. Today is a very special day as we put the art in Stuart. What you have here today is a phenomenal example of what can be accomplished by government, the private sector, and charitable contributions. As we approach Thanksgiving, if you'll think of this project, the Waterbird Project, as a wonderful chiffon pumpkin pie. The streets, the infrastructure, the supports for the water birds, all of those civic items are the crust. The pumpkin portion, the chiffon portion, are the businesses that came in after government was here had created the environment. And the whipped cream on the pie that's truly the lanyap. That's the charitable heart of a community that graces us with all of these wonderful statues. It's a very wonderful thing to see. I can tell you it happened a lot sooner in the city than it would have in any other governmental organization. Thank you. As um, any artist will attest, a work of art may be beautiful in its own right, but where and how the, that art is displayed is almost as important as the creation itself. It provides the context for the message and the beauty that the art conveys. Before the idea of the water birds was even conceived, Sam Amerson, our public works director, Teresa Lamar Sarno, then the community redevelopment administrator, along with Joe Capra and the entire CapTech team, were well on their way to designing the perfect outdoor public art gallery. With Jeffrey's help, the answer we arrived at was twofold. Birds, beautiful, powerful, majestic birds that encompass our relationship and our reliance on both fresh and salt water. Birds that embody our fragility, as well as our resilience. Birds that have captured us with a sense of awe and reminding us of our responsibility to act as keepers and guardians of their habitat, which in many ways is our habitat too. The arts are not a frill. The arts are a response to our individuality and our nature and they help to shape our identity. What is there that can trans transcend deep differences and stubborn divisions? The arts. They have a wonderful universality. Art has the potential to unify. It can speak in many languages without a translator. The arts do not discriminate. The arts can lift us up. Okay. One, two, three. Isn't that beautiful? How majestic. American legacy. I am very excited today to announce that Jeffrey and I are donating the centerpiece to this project, the Three Herons Monument.
It has special meaning to both Jeffrey and myself. It's his versions of it's his vision of the three graces and represents to us beauty, charity, and purity. We gift this to our five children and to the citizens of Stewart to enjoy. Thank you. So the city is taking upon itself to being able to redesign the roundabout and the crowning jewel will be those three great blue herons. It seems like there's an awful lot of symbolism with all these birds. Um, we're making connections to sculptures in France and our nature and water birds, but I think that there's a particular um, monument that I have a personal connection with, and, and it's those three great blue herons. Because now that Colorado Avenue is now redeveloped, that's the intersection to Martin Luther King Boulevard, Colorado, which happens to join three business districts, US-1, the historic downtown, and East Stewart. And so through those three birds, I see those as representations of those three business districts coming together in unison in our city.